Hi there, Mark here, and welcome to another Zebra tutorial. Uh, we're going to do another Psytrance type lead, seeing as they are, seem to be extremely popular. It's just going to be a high pass bass lead, this one. Very similar to the last one, but with a bit different movement and some different effects and stuff. Um, before we go on, make sure you sign up to the, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's the address right there. Just so you don't miss any of these videos. Okay, let's get on with it. Um, right, so I'm just initialising Zebra, as usual. But we are going to use Quad Squad. Just pop it into Wave 8. And we'll go back to Synthesis. And we are going to use Sync. Just for a bit of edge, really. Detune by minus 12 semitones and mess around with your, sorry, bring the tuning down by 12 semitones. Mess around with your detuning, making sure you've got the oscillator set to, squ uh, to quad. Again, probably the easiest thing to do is have some kind of pattern ready that you want to use on this. So it helps a lot. Okay, we're going to use some of the oscillator effects in this one. And I guess the easiest way to do that is to play your pattern and go through the the uh, the sounds that you're after. Now, I, I know what one I want. I want ripples. Do you know what? I'm going to take the tuning off. Just getting it nice and high. Just put the volume up to kind of mid, I guess. Put the width. Mess around with the width. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll leave the width at maximum because I'm probably going to use a GLFO to mess around with the panning later. So you can you can modulate that as well. But um, for now, we'll just add a VCF. And we're going to use a high pass 12 on this. Put the key follow up to where you like it. Obviously, these sounds are a very distinct manner of taste, but um, there is generalizations in each sound, and generally with this kind of high-pass sound, you need some decent resonance. And then the key follow as well. Again, depends how high you want to go. Bit of drive there just to make it really aggressive. Okay, now for modulation on this, we're going to use a GLFO, but we're also going to use the matrix as well. A GLFO, yes, yeah, you know what I mean when I say that, right? LFO, a global LFO. Now, I'm going to put this to something relatively fast. I normally like to use like the 8 and 1, but again, it depends what I'm doing, if I'm ramping up the frequency or whatnot. Um, I'll use a triangle, I like that, and I would imagine the amp's going to be a bit strong, but we'll see in a minute. Let's just turn that right up. Increase the rate a little bit. Okay, so that's almost there, and we're going to pop the matrix... Again, filter one, cut off, global LFO, and then you can mess around with the two amounts to get something that you like. That might be too quick, actually. Let's try two to one. Okay, so there's your basic sound, and now it's just a case of 
kind of jazzing it up really. Um, so for instance, I'm going to, let's have a look at the wave that we used. Now there, there is quite a bit, it's almost like a pulse, almost, if you see it kind of gets wider and narrower. So if we leave it around a bit there, let's see what happens if we use the, the global LFO to modulate that as well. Is giving it some, maybe if we normalize it. I don't see that's making that much difference actually with regards to the moving it up. Maybe it's just the, the shift isn't that isn't that great. It's okay at that. Don't think we need that though. Okay, and if we go, let's modulate the panner as well, and just... I think full width there was a little bit too much, and maybe take the sync off. But also that negates the, the, the benefit of this. Let's modulate that with a LFO global as well. Okay, that sounds quite good. Now, basically, it's just it's up to you, and it depends on the type of pattern you're using. Um, I will probably yeah, let's try loads of different stuff. Um, Now that could give you a cool effect. You could modulate that going like this. At some points, which would be kind of cool. I'm just going to use this. Okay, that sounds okay. I'm just trying to give the sound some movement now. Let's add a shaper next. And I like the shape sound. Yeah, not bad there. Uh, reverb. I'll pop a delay on here as well. I'll just leave that off for the time being. Reverb, we don't want that much. We'll go full dry. Use the dampen. That's enough. Now we can pop the delay in. I'll just leave it on the stereo too as usual. And I'll just pop a mixer in so I can mix both of these lanes together. Just right click on that and put input two as well so I've got them both going through and then I'll pop an EQ after it and just EQ it a bit. Or you could Yeah, well it's up to you. That is rather loud. So there you go, another side trans lead of the same elk. Is 
there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, similar sound as the last one, but these are the types of sounds used in Psytrance. And, well, there's many, many more of which I'll be doing many, many more. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to go to www.zebratutorials.com and subscribe for further videos. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.